Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the cheapest smartphone that I could buy on the market. What it is, you may ask, it is a LG Rebel 2, which supports a 5 inch 854 by 480 IPS LCD display. It has a 1 gig bytes of RAM, it has a Snapdragon 210 SoC, and 8 gigabytes of onboard storage. It has a 5 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel selfie camera. Internet wise, it has LG LTE Cat 4 at 150 megabytes. Uh, 12 LT bands uh, supports UMTS, Edge, GRPS, HSPA Plus, and LTE. Also supplies BGNN, does not support AC wireless, which can be kind of a pain. Well, in my situation, it is a disappointment. This does have hotspot and Wi Fi Direct, Bluetooth 4.1. Uh, connection wise, it has a micro USB and it's USB 2.0. Runs uh, 6.1.1. Marshmallow? Don't quote me on that. Uh, the main processor is 1.3 GHz and is a quad core. Uh, it's um, MSM8909 Snapdragon 210 from Qualcomm. Okay, so with all that being said, you get this phone for $10. It is refurbished through TrackPhone. Um, you also do have to buy a $15 service plan. Um, but in my case, the main purpose I bought this phone for was to use as an MP3 player. Alright, so here it is. This is the LG Rebel 2. Um, it's a very sharp phone. Screen. I love the screen quality on it. If anything, that's this phone really has going for it is its screen quality. Very, very responsive. Um, we'll do a snap we'll do a Snapchat load time here. A lot of you guys are really conscious when it comes to um, smart app, uh, smartphone apps and see how the time they load here. We'll do this just for relatively, see how long it takes for the first login. So there we are. So that's not too terrible. Uh, let's exit out. Let's clear all the apps here and then we'll give this a try again. Um, go ahead and open this up. See, it's not too terrible. That Snapdragon, I love it. Um, let's see here. Let's put a filter on here. Let's see how long this takes. Sometimes this is real. We don't need to discover anything right now. We're trying to do a live video. Let's go ahead and put a filter on and see what happens here. Sometimes this is great. Um, the problem with phones in this price range um, is that it really slows them down as the loading of the filters, for example. This is where they really suffer, especially in um, Snapchat as loading filters. I guess I looked email there for a second. Okay, there we go. Now we're fine. And another thing that sucks too is when they um, you try to do a video with them, the, there is a decent and noticeable amount of lag in regards to the quality. Let's re replay that here. And we'll show you. This is what I'm talking about. There is a decent and noticeable amount of lag in regards to the quality. Let's with them. Uh, there is a decent and noticeable amount of lag. So it's not too bad. To um, some phones I've quality. noticed have been good. Uh, especially with a phone of this price point with uh, that's a, a little is on the older side when it comes to modern smartphones these days, especially when you compare it to a phone like the iPhone 10R. Um, it's not bad though. Um there is noticeably, it is kind of noticeably slow, especially when you're multitasking. The biggest issue I had so far with it is I played, uh, let's see here. That's all these other different filters. All right, I'll exit out of there. The biggest problem I had with it, with this phone so far, has been playing a game called uh, Clean Road. If you put it in, you want to disable um, that so you don't have ads coming up every time you play. This is where I'll show you right here where the phone struggles. It does not do this when it um is in like when it's actually in like a regular mode, but or like when it's the connectivity is on. There we go. Josh, use your words. Um, but um, because it'll hang up here, and then you'll go try to play. Oh, sometimes the screen goes black. 
the music plays, and then now I walk here. Oh, watch now. Today is actually gonna work for once. No, see? This is what I'm talking about. Now watch. Watch this. See? Nothing. Um it pegs out like this occasionally. Uh, especially if you have multiple um multiple windows open but that's the only time I, I, it'll, it'll experience live because like I'll go ahead and put it back on a connectivity mode turn on the Wi-Fi back on we'll go back to the game actually let's go ahead and clear everything we'll go back to the game actually we'll do for consistency wise we'll put snapchat back in the background um, and then we'll go to clean road again um, another thing to bring out too is that the onboard graphical interface on these, it's okay. Uh, it's not going to be as crisp yet again as your $800 smartphone is going to be, but for 10 bucks, you know, I can't complain. Like I said before, the main purpose I bought this phone was to use it as a MP3 player substitute. Excuse me, I drink some coffee. Um, some diamonds I just like to disconnect from the world. And, um,. Be able just to tune everything out and just listen to my own thing, so that's why I kind of we kind of got these. Jamie got one too. Um, but here, while that's loading, since it's taking so long to load, that's what I'm talking about when you're like multitasking. Um, here's uh, the power button. This is a this is not a um, fingerprint sensor. There's your five megapixel camera. Nothing on this side besides the little thing for your battery access. There's your micro USB, microphone, 33.5 millimeter headphone jack, volume togger, and then you have another microphone on the front for a 720p recording. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and play. We'll see if we get copyright for actually playing this. Probably should mute this, but here. Got this zoomed in again. Sorry, guys. Let's pull this back up. See, now it works. Just, it does have a little bit. It's not as bad, though. So it's actually pretty playable. Um, I'm gonna. So basically, um, we'll go ahead and do some, uh, we'll put some photos in here and show you the quality of them, and then I have some comparable photos I'll put in for my 10R. recording video with the LG Rebel 2. This is a comparison video for the video I'm putting together for my YouTube channel. All right, this is a comparable video with the iPhone 10R running 720p on a front-facing selfie camera. I'm recording with the LG Rebel 2 using the rear camera, recording at 720p. Now we will record with the iPhone XR. And then this is a 720p rear facing camera comparison with the iPhone XR. All right, so there you go. You got some video using the LG Rebel 2 versus iPhone XR. There's a quick little sneak peeks. Um, there's also some photos I will share so you can kind of get a compare and contrast. This one obviously is going to be a lot clearer, a better camera setup, and it's 12 megapixels versus this one here is only 5 megapixels. In the end, would I use the LG Rebel 2 as a daily driver? And the answer is only in a specific situation. I would use this as a daily driver if I did not need a dedicated phone with a camera 
or if I need to do things fast, or if I wanted to multitask, I would definitely go with LG Rebel 2. If you need something simpler, like let's say you just want to take this for a walk, put on some music and stuff, this is my, this would be my go-to. Actually, it is my go-to when it comes to music. I carry this thing around at work from day-to-day -day basis, and I use this as a multimedia device. The only drawback is, is when you do YouTube videos, it plays in 480p, does not play in 720p. So that is the biggest drawback when it comes to this phone. Now, if you need something that is a huh, is not starving for battery life and is ready for multimedia and taking beautiful photos, then I would definitely go with something more like the iPhone XR. Um, a lot of people are going to be like, Josh, this is a unfair comparison. But in reality, I wanted to look at from a relatively expensive standpoint versus a relatively affordable standpoint um no i don't say everyone go out and finance a iphone 10r but if you need something with affordability check this out this is on the track phone website for ten dollars at least i was at the time of purchasing the device um it is compatible on the verizon networks and that's pretty much all i have to say about it um it's actually been a really good phone so far um i am still working on getting all the bugs out of it and uh you know using it as a daily phone um the biggest complaint i have about it is the lagginess in apps but for a phone of this age um what else do you expect um it's not going to perform great it's, it doesn't have the three gigs of ram that the 10r has it does not have the eight six or eight i can't remember what core processor it has it doesn't have the bionic chip that the 10R has. It has a quad core Snapdragon 210, which is older, but it does the job. So, in conclusion, if you want a cheaper phone that you can do basic tasks on, this is the one to go for. If you want something that you can throw anything at, literally, and on top of that, do all your daily work stuff on it, and do this for 10 hour. So basically that's all I have to say guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this is, uh, video was kind of clear. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below in the box. And until next time guys, take care.